are live hello everyone how to steal the mind we will talk today how to steal the mind first of all we will talk about how um, the symptoms and why the mind gets murky and then I will give you a couple of tools co coupled with the understanding of how to steal the mind how to stop not stop our thinking but rather calm our, our, our thinking and not to be in our head but be grounded so another way of saying how to find our groundedness how to be grounded and we talk a lot about this on this channel and today I will give you a couple of tools that you can use coupled with an analogy for you to understand better how the mind works so the analogy I'm gonna use today is a glass of glass uh, a glass of water so you imagine if I would take a hand of a pile a pile of dirt and would put into this and would steer it this water would become muddy and this is how our mind is very often when we don't slow down enough when we're not centered when we grounded we up in our head our mind is murky and we are caught up in our thinking we are caught up in our feeling and as a result we are not present we cannot really participate in life and our performance whatever we do diminishes big time as well so what we're going to talk about today is how to steal the mind and this is a perfect analogy because if you imagine if i would put a handful of dirt into this water and would steer it up it would be really murky but how could i steal it how could i make it calm down simply i would put it down and leave it simply i would put it down and leave it what would happen after 15 minutes? What would happen after half an hour, after 45, 60, 90 minutes? After 90 minutes, likely the dirt would just calm down. And what did I do with it? Nothing. And with the mind, we do the same to still it down. Uh, we do nothing with it we just leave it alone and the way we do do that is to be present but before i would go into that let's talk a little bit about what things can stir up the mind because it can really help to understand the things that might affect your mind because if you understand and if you catch yourself being in that state understanding where your if inflicting thoughts and feeling might come from can give you a little bit of permission can give you a little bit of lean way into okay this is why i might experience what i experience so what are the the couple of things that can be as paul check says there are four doctors the doctor uh, doctor quiet doctor diet doctor movement and doctor happiness so these are good places to start do you have enough quiet time if you always just running around thinking about the next stuff the next stuff the next stuff if you don't meditate if you don't quiet your mind understandably very very um speeded up and murky if you don't have your diet right uh, I would put here also like sleep if you don't have your sleep your diet maybe you just haven't slept well maybe you your diet is not healthy clean enough maybe you're not eating enough maybe you're not eating the right kind of food that can affect the mind the the gut biomes these kind of things movement do you move like like walking is amazing do you exercise these affect our state of mind and do you do things that make you happy do you connect with others do you play do you do things that uh, nurture your happiness do you do gratitude these kind of things can be a good starter there are many things that is something in uh emotional intelligence which 
which talks about our state. We always have a certain bodily sensation. And then what we do, we interpret that sensation. And that sensation can really um, affected by how our body is in that certain day, in that certain moment, if our body uh, just in not the best position, which, you know, happens in life, we're going to have certain sensations and we might interpret that as, you know, something wrong with me, I'm not having a good mood and so on. Um, and also, you know, if something bothering us consciously or subconsciously, that can lead to low moods, depression and so on. Now, of course, if you experience any severe depression, mental health issues, turn to professionals. That's very, very important. And also, if there is something you feel that um, there is something just kind of bothering you, I created um, guided meditation of transforming any hardship. It's a letting go, a welcoming, letting go and transformative guided meditation uh, of healing the emotional body. So sometimes we have these things that border, uh, bothering us and all we really need to do is to put that in place inside of us within and that's what that meditation uh, helps you so check that out you can do that every single morning or more times a day so that's about putting your lifestyle together that definitely helps with mental health and also the emotional release can help to kind of uh, heal the emotional body and also what we're going to talk here today is is some tools that will help you to become mindful and through mindfulness um, still the mind right so why while what we talked about is that you just put down and you don't do anything with it that's being present that's being mindful is not to trying to force to force to stop your thinking but um, to just allow things, allow your thinking, your feeling to be, and instead of engaging with them, instead of trying to do anything with them, you just observe them and you are being present with them. That's the mindfulness approach. And the reason I want to give you some tools, because while after certain level of understanding, after having insights, you naturally gonna much easier deal with situation and you naturally know okay i'm I'm off today I'm off right now how can i or, or i i I naturally move into being present with that so after a while you can develop that sort of habit that whenever you notice you off you move into being present and you're trying to be present more and more uh times uh, during the day during your life and having tools having practice is is very very important um one because that leads into increasing your mindfulness during the day second is you want to practice you want to be prepared you want to practice when at times when things are not so hard so when um, things get a little bit more challenging then you have tools to come back to so the first tool i want to give you is breathing now the great thing in breathing that it connects to both the conscious and the subconscious think about it breathing is the only thing that works subconsciously so when you sleep then you don't need to think about breathing breathing happens when you doing something else you don't need to think about inhale exhale inhale exhale 
it just it just happens how amazing is that and what's even more amazing is that you can change it whenever you're conscious of it so it happens subconsciously it's a, it's it's part of the autonomous uh, nervous system but you can consciously change and control it and that's why breathing is part of every spiritual tradition as well as any system law enforcement military systems i will show one breathing pattern from there uh, any of these systems which aim to um, still the mind aim to help to have better cognitive and emotional control so that's why breathing is amazing you can you can affect your subconscious it's a gateway into that so the first breathing i will show you is the triangle breathing the second breathing i will show you is the rectangle breathing so it's easy to remember because both are geometric shapes so the triangle breathing means that <clears throat> you're gonna inhale for one amount this can be the count of three count of four count of five whatever gonna be the right pacing for you and you're gonna exhale for the double amount of time so it's that simple whatever time you choose to inhale you exhale the double amount of time and this tells us one uh, fact one rule of breathing whenever we breathe out slower than we inhale and given that our breathing is a normal slow and calm breathing whenever we breathe out slower than we uh, inhale then we activate the parasymp parasympathetic aka the calming nervous system okay so to do one is let's say we inhale let's say we inhale for four and we exhale for eight and we're gonna slow down inhale for five exhale for ten okay um, so first inhale for four exhale for five and exhale through the nose but you can do through the mouth with this one it doesn't matter as much but inhale through the nose for sure okay one two three four one two three four one two three four inhale one two three four exhale one two three four five six seven eight inhale one two three four one two three four five six seven eight okay just one second technical difficulties of course it happens it happens this is when you keep your calm when life happens so just keep the breathing if you were good you kept the breathing throughout okay if not come back so one two three four one two three four five six seven eight and if you can you can do slower inhale for five exhale for ten count it for yourself doing your own pace just normally and you can feel the calming effect almost like a valve opens this is a really great way of de-stressing okay so this is the triangle breathing the other breathing uh, breathing is the rectangle breathing okay this is also called the navy seal breathing i told you that i'm going to share you a breathing pattern that the military system uh, incorporated and the pattern on this one is that you um, inhale for one one measure which can be the count of four five 
six depending what's natural and what's calm for you right or maybe can be three because this will be a longer pattern so you can inhale for three keep it for three exhale for three and keep the air out for three so inhale for one measure keep it in one measure exhale for one measure uh, and keep it out for one measure let's do a couple of breathing like that we will do with three so everyone can um, follow along if you want to do slower you can do slower and experiment with it later so inhale one two three keep it one two three exhale one two three keep it out one two three inhale one two three keep it one two three exhale one two three and keep it inhale one two three keep it one two three exhale one two three keep it and you can just continue in your own pace you can make it slower but the control of it that you putting your attention and you counting and you have a controlled breathing and it, that that really helps basically what happens there is by exhaling longer and by keeping you increase the co2 and by increasing the co2 you your body actually gonna uh, utilize more oxygen as well so it's counter counterintuitive but by increasing the co2 in your body you are more efficiently converting um oxygen or using oxygen that's already in your blood and co2 has a calming effect anyway in that level so that's how it works um, and of course you know you basically um giving your body a breathing pattern that we usually use when we are calm and also it's important that you breathe into your belly because that's the natural we can talk more about that later in another video more about breathing but these are the two breathing pattern the third tool i want to give you is connected somewhat to this because it's it's good that you have an understanding of the breathing and you have an understanding what um what role putting your focus on something can uh take right when you don't focus on something when you are not in flow when you're not uh, having your attention somewhere the mind just wanders and the more we wander with it we are with the stream inside the stream and we reactive that's why mindfulness is important that we get into the moment and we not dragged by our uh, conditioning we not dragged by our karma but we are here and and now and we are not reactive but active so here we come to our senses what i call come to our senses, and then it's uh, used in uh, CBT cog cognitive behavioral uh, therapy as well when people experience um, uh, pa panic um, or, and, and or an anxiety a useful tool is just look around in the room and name whatever you see right just name whatever you see and to, to bring it that further is becoming aware whatever you sense so what do you see what do you hear what do you sense through your skin what do you sense within the body just be with it feel the your weight pushing against the ground your feet pushing against the ground or your butt pushing against the chair be really present whatever happens whatever is here right now just 
observe that just be with it you don't need to do anything remember like the water we don't touch it we don't do anything we just a knowledge we just welcome we just let it be as it is with all its murkiness if your mind is murky just let it be let it be murky and just be with that be with the imperfect perfection of the moment that's how you do it but if you are there silent quiet you you know we talked about doctor quiet if you're quiet long enough the murkiness is gonna just settle and the water gonna be still your mind gonna become still you can just put more space into your life like this this is how you steal your mind so we talked about a couple of tools breathing the triangle the rectangle breathing those are good tools we talked about mindfulness coming to our senses that's very useful as well and of course we want to incorporate mindfulness into our life more and more often in order to understand that we have and gonna have a um, changing experience of life. There never gonna be a time in life when everything is just smooth and up here and good. Life is ever changing. The only constant thing in life is change. And therefore, the real wisdom is not to learn how to be high all the time, but the wisdom is no, however life goes up and down, to be able to surf, to ride the waves. And this is how we ride the waves, is just to be with it. And that's how we steal the mind. Through these things, we learn We learn how we work and what is a most or a more useful tool than to learn how we work, how we human beings work. So practice these. If you have any questions, ask me in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Practice this. Let me know how you're getting along. And if you like this video, if you gain any value, like, share, subscribe, we can grow together. And remember, you are innately whole. Take care, my friend. See you soon.